Hi, welcome to On The Social Sofa with me, Simon Dunand, founder of New Rise Digital. So what is uh, On The Social Sofa? Uh, basically, we're going to be explaining big digital marketing ideas uh, and we're going to distill those into understandable and easy to use, actionable content that you can use to help you grow your business. We'll be doing this every single week. This is episode one, so grab your favorite hot beverage, whether that's a tea, coffee or hot chocolate, and uh, let's get stuck into uh, all those top tips that will help you understand the web and how it's going to help you grow your business. So, on episode one today, we're going to be looking at authenticity. So what is authenticity? You hear that word a lot banded about on uh, social media, on the web, on blogs. Well, authenticity really actually equals trust. And people do business with people they know, like and trust. So being authentic on the web, whether it's on social media, on your blog, on YouTube, however you're doing it, um, that's going to build the foundations of your digital business. And, and digital marketing, if you base it on authenticity, then you're basing it on trust. So people ask me all the time, how, how, how can you be authentic on the web? Uh, what does that actually mean? And uh, to give you some insight into that, really, um, it's actually what we're doing right now, is uh, we're, we're showing people who we are. Um, you know, this is a video series, so you can see me, um, you, can, uh, you can hear me, and we, we're showing a bit of our personality, right? That's why we set this in, in the setting of a social sofa. Um, we re really, authenticity means showing your personality, um, showing a bit of who you are, and as I say, going back to that know, like, and trust, um, people do business with people that they understand, right? So, um, you know, key things around what you could do to show who you are. Um, if you're a business owner and a sole trader, perhaps, so perhaps it's just a small one-man band that you're running there, um, then perhaps you could give them some insights in, you know, what your hobbies are or what you do outside of your business. So if you're a runner and you go running every, uh, every, every, every weekend, uh, then perhaps you can give some insight into, you know, the, the run that you did at the weekend and you know maybe how your personal goals are um are progressing against your against your fitness goals um it all really adds to you know understanding who's running the business who's the people behind the business so when people buy your products and services or are interested in the products and services there's a real personality behind that business now i know some people are not all that comfortable in, in showing their personality you know and and maybe giving some of their personal life um, but but you can have a balance it doesn't have to be like you know let's get your grandma in and your kids and 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 everybody in front of the camera and, and do a podcast every week but you know just giving some insight into into you who you are and who who people are doing business with really goes a long way to building that trust with your business um, if you're a slightly bigger business um, then uh, maybe you have some staff that you could highlight so if you have an admin assistant um, or you have some office staff or uh, even suppliers and, 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 and you know, business partners. Um, maybe you can highlight who these are. Who are the people that are in your supply chain? Who are the people that uh, you know, customers might be calling up and speaking to on a daily basis? You know, it might be your receptionist. Um, you know, maybe you can put a face to those and put those out on social media and, 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 and give a bit of insight into it. Um, maybe if one of your staff have um, uh, an, an interesting hobby or maybe they support um, a charity, for example, Maybe you could cover that on your blog or, or just put a, a tweet out on Twitter that, you know, Amy, our, our, um, our receptionist this weekend, is going out to uh, run the London Marathon to raise uh, money for breast cancer or, you know, whatever charity that they support. Um, that gives a real authenticity and reality to the people that are in your business. Um, and when you're doing business on the web uh, and people are at a distance uh, on social media, it can really make a big difference to, to bring in a human side to, to, to the digital marketing that you do. Um, and I think that's really important because people do business with people, right? So um, the other thing is to show you care. Um, show the caring side of you and your business. I mean, businesses are made up of people and, um, and, and the people that, that, that are in that business are doing it because they care about delivering solutions to their customers. Um, they, they, they care about solving the challenges that, that, that your customers face every day with the products and services that you provide. So um, why not highlight that caring side of, of your business, uh, which is the value that you exchange? Um, and, and detail that on social media. Use, you know, use your Twitter feed to show how you've made a difference to existing customers. Um, maybe you can get some testimonials or just sit down on a sofa like we are today and have a chat with your customers and, and, and maybe use that, build that into a video series and put it on YouTube. 
um, or maybe post it on Facebook if you've got a following on Facebook. Um, all those customer insights and, and the reality of, of what you do and the, 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 why you care about delivering what products and services you, you deliver, um, you know, showing that right up front is of immense value. And now with the web, um, you can reach hundreds of thousands of people like, like we are today on, on this video um, and showing people what you're about. Now, if that's the first touch point that people come to in your business, um, that's a great way to start a relationship with a customer because you've got the trust right up front. Um, so, you know, that's a, that's a fantastic one. Uh, one. So, uh, you know, show that you care. Um, and uh, if, if your business supports a charity, um, if you're part of the Chamber of Commerce that, that uh, does, does charitable fundraising, um, you know, maybe you put a series maybe on your blog of, of the charitable work that you do and show people that you do that, that, that you're thinking about giving back in a bigger way um, to your community uh, and not just, you know, serving up uh, products and services and giving value to the people that, that, who you are your customers, but that you have a bigger world view and that you represent and stand for something. Um, I mean, that goes a long way. Uh, and, and this is really easy to, to display and, 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 and show on social media. It, it, it's fantastic content uh, that really you can drive out there on all of your social media um, to give people an insight into, um, into you and your business and your people. Um, and that's what authenticity really means, is, it, is it giving a part of yourself um, and, and really social media or, or any of the, the digital marketing uh, content uh, delivery channels are, are a great way to funnel that out. And you'll be surprised at how much content you can, you can create from, from your business and the people in it um, and how much value that can show. Um, and this is all free, of course. Um, you don't have to pay for advertising. You're not trying to concoct a story or build it in any way. This is reality and, and the real people behind it. And that's what we mean by authenticity. It's really opening doors into, in, into the world of your business and, and the people in it. And maybe um, you could also offer value ab above and beyond um, your, your products and services. So, for example, if you're running a, a, you know, a small B&B um, or a small hotel, um, and you're based in a, a, a vibrant city, whether it be London or, or York or Scotland, Edinburgh, wherever it is, wherever your local area is, if you are running a B&B &B in a hotel, um, then uh, building up a blog or a video series about um, you know, your local area, when people come to your hotel, really, they, okay, they want a great place to stay, that, that's a given, but um, that actually coming to that local area for a reason, so whether that's a holiday or conference, etc. Um, if you can show the facility, so if, if you're near a conference, uh, a, a big conference area, for example, maybe you can put some information on, 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 on your blog or on your video channel about local conference facilities that people might be visiting. Um, if, if you're more of a tourist area and you're attracting people to a B&B &B in a nice picturesque area, why not go out and just grab your iPhone and you know, shoot some, uh, some small videos very simply. It doesn't have to be huge productions. Uh, about the local area. Maybe you could give a short guided tour about the local area so that uh, when people turn up um, and, and they're at your B&B that they, they've already got, they don't have to pick up the leaflets in the foyer, they've already got that information. Um, they may well have even saved it on their phone or, or you know, favorited your YouTube channel. Um, that means that you've already made that connection and they've built up that trust even before, even before they bought, but also during the process of, of experiencing your, um, your products or service. So, um, you know, these are all ideas that you can use straight away to, to build up that trust and, and use social media and, uh, and use the um, digital marketing tools that are available out there, totally free, um, to really connect with your customer and drive business. Um, and of course, you can do this, you can do this all on, um, on YouTube, you can create content on Twitter, um, you can create the pictures or videos for, for distribution on Facebook, or if you have a, a website on your blog. Uh, I mean, some people can also do, can also feel a bit um, intimidated by, you know, ex even like presenting in front of a video camera. They might not be, you know, might be a bit shy. So, um, I mean, you could do it by podcast. So literally you can get your iPhone and it just talk into an iPhone and record uh, an audio file and put that on your blog. Um, that's great for people on the go as well. You know, people will listen to that on their phones. Um, you can upload it to iTunes. There's so many things you can do. Um, just you really find the content delivery method that you feel comfortable with. Um, so, you know, that's what authenticity means, and that's how you can use digital marketing to create that connection with your customer, because digital marketing can be, you know, uh, it's computers, it, it's involving technology, it can, it can create a distance, and what we're doing is bringing that distance down and uh, getting you closer to your customer. Uh, when you do that, you build the trust, people know, like, and trust you, and that will drive the sale from social media, so it's a great strategy. 
So think about what one thing uh, from this session this week that you could take away and use right away, because it's really important for you to grab one of those ideas and, and go run with it and just use it for your business and see how it works. Um, and let me know in the comments below. Um, just let me know what worked. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, comment section is below this video, so go ahead and just leave your comments. And if you have any questions or ideas for a future uh, on the social sofa, um, then you know just group pop those questions in the, in the comments box too. Uh, or you can uh, email me direct at simon at newrisedigital.com. So that's simon at newrisedigital.com. Um, and uh, yeah, we'd love to, hi uh, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, don't forget, uh, we've also got uh, a great newsletter that you can sign up below as well. Um, but for now, go take some action. Rewind this video and listen to it again if you have to. What's that one golden nugget you've taken away? Go do it now. Uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, on On the Social Sofa with me, Simon Dunant. Thanks for watching. See you again next week.